And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching later for some Gruul Stompy action. So uh, we are just going to be playing some creatures and attacking. That's what we got going on here. Um, Steel Leaf Champion is just an, kind of an underplayed card. Uh, it is just a, you know, has awesome rate on it being a 5-4 creature for 3 mana. And so I wanted to, wanted to play some uh, Steel Leafs and... Uh, I kind of want to pair it with red because red has these two flyers up at the top with Rekindling Phoenix and Skargan Hellkite that if we play against people that gum up the ground, we can maybe um, get these flyers going and finish them off there. And I also just want to play uh, some Collision Colossus. I think this card is really strong and um, haven't played too much of it. I really like the Colossus part, the plus four, plus two, and trample. So usually people have to like double block your Steel Leaf Champion or something and then you can make it bigger when they're not expecting it. And of course the collision part can kill some flyers, lots of good flyers around um, in the format. Speaking of that, we got some harpooners in the sideboard. The other thing playing green red is we get to play a bunch of cinder vines uh, in our aggressive deck. And so i um, playing a whole lot of cinder vines in our sideboard for the control matchups and we'll kind of see how it goes. So let's see if we can give some beatdowns with Gruul Stompy. I have only mono white aggro, and I have and I am tired of playing it. I can afford crafting mono blue or is it Drake's slash Phoenix, and red, but I don't want to play that. But what is better now, and what is more interesting to play? I I think mono blue is better, but the the one problem with mono blue is this may not be. I think Mono Blue was better and it's been better for the last couple of weeks, but this is kind of a, a bad time to get in on Mono Blue because it is um, it has gotten pretty popular. And I I think that the metagame may start shifting to be a little more anti Mono Blue than it is right now. You can kind of see how I'm playing a bunch of Kral Harpooners in my sideboard, for example, uh, for the Mono Blue matchup. But I have been seeing quite a bit of mono blue around right now. Matthew Zerv, hey y'all. Thanks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Five card hand is going to be pretty tough anyway. Since we have a scry... Oh, I thought we were on the draw. Well, that makes it worse. I was going to say we had a scry and being on the draw. Okay, well that made it a little worse, but we'll see. Because like we have like the branch walker that we could have had on potentially on turn two. We're a twenty-four land deck. We're not it's not like we're playing no lands or anything. We have twenty-four lands, we have nineteen green sources. Ah uh, yeah. Good call. Vanifar is a donation deck. Hmm. Well, let's try again. Gonna use our opponents probably sideboarding like we're mono red. You know, we just played a mountain. One thing is, is our, our mana base is kind of tough with playing Steel Leaf Champion and Rekindling Phoenix. Um, so that, that makes it kind of difficult. Um, okay, RVN. Hope to see you back soon. Um, sorry, not enjoy magic too much right now. Uh, I would have had to move. So right there, I, I would have had to move to discard, and discard a card, um, which we only we only played basic mountain. Any card I discard, I uh, tells my opponent stuffs up.
Nice, getting some lasagna. Hmm. Jade Light or Spellbreaker? Go Spellbreaker. If I didn't have a, the land drop there, I probably would have just played Jade Light to look for the land. Yeah, it looks like a, a small small creature deck. That was their same turn two and turn three they had the first game. Well, that's unfortunate. So I was gonna be able to use the Hellkite to be able to shoot stuff down and everything. I don't know. It's alright, we're still doing good. Bones at eleven. Not very much health. Uh, kind of seems like all their creatures are power two or less. The other thing about keeping these on top is it does like making the Jade Light of four threes, you know, pretty good. Uh, if they're all two power stuff. Yeah, we can give our creatures plus four, plus two, and trample. Spellbreaker already has trample. So bugler whiffed, but they got to draw a card off the of mentor of the meek. Isolate. Well then. So yeah, unfortunately we don't get to double spell anymore because of the land werewolf being being exiled. They're down to five, they have nothing on the battlefield, and we got a 4-4 four, four, and a 3-5, and we got this 3-3 three, three haste that's chilling here. Bell haunt. Hmm. Is that an annoying card? Basic mountain. Yeah, not not sure why the opponent didn't just play the, the pride mate first. If that was their plan. Um certainly seems like it would have been easy enough just to Cast the primate first, but oh well. So we're going to a game three. Whoa, we're not going to a game three. Talk about something I wasn't expecting. I was not expecting their their all creature deck. Mentor the Meek Bugler deck just to suddenly have Cleansing Nova. Especially when they thought we might have been like you. Mono Red. <laughs> this isn't a deck that I think would thought would have a Wrath. I thought they would have like multiple creatures that they would that they would play the next turn. Just like the previous turn, how they played the uh, Bell Hunt and Pride Mate. And so I was getting a third creature in play. 
Um, so we've seen Cleansing Nova, Chupacabra. Hmm. They have Kaya and Isolate. What if I just take out Llanowar Elf? Am I going to have enough lands? I got Branch Walkers and Jade Lights. Maybe I just take that out on the draw. Hmm. I don't know if I have enough cards I really want to play, though. I guess I can play one Harpooner, one Rhythm of the Wild, and two Vivians. I'm just bringing in one enchantment. I mean, I don't think I would, I wouldn't mind the opponent. Um, I'm gonna turn off these notifications. I wouldn't mind if the opponent. Use a Cleansing Nova on my one enchantment. Mortify is... Uh, yeah, something I'd be worried about a little bit more. We don't have a fifth land. That card's just too good, though. I think we'll be able to draw a fifth land before we lose. I think. But we'll see. Maybe not. Sure hope so, though. <laughs> Pull strategy gun. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, keeping a car that we can't even cast. That's a bold strategy. That's still a good draw, though. J Light. That's a really good draw because you know, like, J Light should be able to get us our our fifth land, our fourth land, easy enough. Fifth land? Whatever. There we go. How are many lands we need? Jade Light can do that. I just I don't want another Bell Haunt, because I like both my cards. Yeah, new emotes, DJ Polly B. First one up, of course, is we're dreaming up about getting five wins. Beasts are much more reliable than human. Meet my newest friend. We just don't need a uh, seventh land, so I guess I'm taking this harpooner, even though the harpooner isn't great. It's just, you know, it's something. Mm -hmm. 
if I would have seen Seal Away uh, or any enchantment in the first couple games, uh, I could have just brought in Brontodon. No one knows Harpooner. the wilds like I do. Hellkite. Just haste here with them at you know at eleven. They usually like putting the counter on Hellkite because um, they like being able to activate it. But we have another Hellkite, and they're not at the highest life total. I I didn't I didn't do any of the upload stuff in Chrome. Uh, you know, the rest of the, that stream day and yesterday, the uploading was working just fine, so um, I haven't messed with it. So. so thankfully, it's been going pretty good since then. Balance comes. Yeah, I suppose there's a chance they have settle. Now, you know, now we don't have to worry about Settle, but they could have a Seal Away. But I feel like if they have a Seal Away, they would cast it, so. Alright, Hellkite time. Alright, and the five win Dream has gotten the first victory. First chapter of the story has been written. And Gruel Stompy was victorious. There you go. Vivian's voice sounds like Sawani in League of Legends. Okay. I've never played League of Legends. Uh, so I don't know who that is, but... Um, I'll take your word for it. Hey, Boomer Pants. Yeah, I see, I see every single YouTube comment. Um, I get, like, a little notification on every single one. Um... I'm not the best at re responding to them, but I, I at least see them all. Hmm. So rat colonies are just gonna get bigger. Like they're both gonna be three ones. So they can double block a steel leaf, and I can't. I can't Colossus to protect the Steel Leaf. Ooh, they are just taking it. It's on your phone. So I'm, I'm putting even that other Jade Light in the, the graveyard here because I, I want, I mean, I prefer to have double Colossus. Let's see, no blocks. Hopefully we get double Colossus. We have to get a red source. Well, that's game. I mean, I think single Colossus may be game anyway. No, single Colossus is not game. Wait, is it? Yeah, actually, it is game. Yeah, single Colossus would have been game anyway. Yeah, 12-hour stream going to be awesome. Yep, we're, we got a 12-hour stream lined up for Monday. Um, celebrating getting to 1,500 YouTube subscribers, so Monday. Mark your calendars. Be here all day. Ah, oh, you work Mondays? Dang. I'm doing it on, on Monday, uh... Because Monday's my birthday. So that's why I'm doing it Monday. You know, I guess weekend may... It may make sense to do it on the weekend more. Maybe we do it tomorrow. I guess that may make sense. Certainly could. Well, I don't have anything for this matchup. It's just a race.
Wait, is Monday a holiday? I didn't know Monday was a holiday. It's President's Day this year? It's a late President's Day. You know, this being my my full-time job of just just being here, I don't always know exactly when every holiday is. Um But that's good. Okay, well. Well, then, yeah, Monday works then. You've been. Stuck in the same game? Yeah. Um, oh, that's awful. When you tr when you restart your PC and then launch Arena, it sends you to the same match. Yeah, I would definitely reinstall then. Certainly sounds like a reinstall. I mean, if I, if I take it and then attack them, they just block anyway. It's just the same thing. So next turn we can Branch Walker and Hasty Spellbreaker. Hopefully. One of our top two cards is a land. I'm going to be... If we don't draw the land, I'm playing the Branch Walker first. Oh, Bloodfast. And I am just giving the, the Spellbreaker haste. As is, I assume they're going to block the Steel Leaf Champion. Which puts him down to seven. Or not. Just want to flip the, the blood fast. Blood fast, the other side only gains life equal to the toughness. So it only gained one life per rat. What's with these decks we're playing today? I don't know. We're just running them over real quickly. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen rats in, best of, in a best of three event either. That is my first time ever playing against rats in a best of three event. First time for everything. <laughs> Your game ended after all that time, and you and it said that you won. That's crazy. Maybe your opponent got tired of waiting and just and just left. Hey, what's up, Metamorph? <laughs> yep, <laughs> got to go throw some Cosmotronic Waves in the sideboard now. Scared of this Rats matchup. <laughs> we don't get to choose our, our opponents, Travs. In, in the, uh, the league, you know, like this is the, the expensive league. All right, I'll, I like getting Steel Leaf Champion down as early as possible against Mono Blue. Because even though they're going to have like a lot more cards and, and counter magic and everything...
we will have we'll have the clock going. All right, so I need to start making a ooh. So the problem with hasting the gruel spellbreaker is then it doesn't get to attack through a doesn't get to attack through a uh, Tempest Gin. And if our opponent didn't play the Trickster to tap the Steel Leaf, I wasn't gonna not, I was only gonna be attacking with just the Steel Leaf. I was not gonna be attacking with the Elf because of Trickster. And there's the Tempest Gin as as expected. And we're playing Wild Growth and Jade Light this turn now. Go back up to 21. Getting the image ready to go for the YouTube video for Girls Not Be Here Later. That's what I'm doing right now. More curious obsessions. There we go. Um, so if I... If I play the Spellbreaker pre-combat... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go and do it. So sure they can, you know the jade, the tempest gin was already going to be able to kill like a jade light or wild growth or any anything either. So we don't need that spellbreaker necessarily to be able to attack through. So this block leaves puts them down to two, and I have two creatures die. They have two creatures die. Oh, never mind. Negative one. What I, I missed? I missed something. Oh, the trample. The spellbreaker had trample, right? The f they blocked the four-four trampler with the one-one. So now we're bringing in all these harpooners, and that's about it. Care about them? Hmm. What do we cut? I mean, co collision's got to be good, right? Two mana, kill a flyer. Like, that's got to be good. This is certainly good. Like, Spellbreaker, maybe? Because the, the Explore stuff is good. You know, Wild Growth gaining a bunch of life. I would think these these flyers are expensive, but I think they're good. Right? Because, like, we see, like, because we get to put the early pressure out, our opponent does have to, you know, tap out. Um... I think maybe Spellbreaker. I guess I could trim one Hellkite. Hellkite's so good, though. 
they can they can certainly beat Resolve Vivian with like dive down on their creature. Beating Resolved Hellkite, I don't know if they can do that. I don't know Hell Hellkite is. Yeah, Spellbreaker's good at racing, but that's the thing, is like Hmm. Guess I'm cutting two spellbreakers, one Hellkite. No, definitely do not want Cinder Vines. We need to we need to have uh, we need to better affect the battlefield than what Cinder Vines does. We just want we just want creatures and our creatures are bigger than theirs, so we just out aggro our opponent. Like that's that's what this matchup's about. Getting as many creatures as possible. You're going bigger. All right, so I expect I'm expecting Essence Captor here. So they are gonna have Essence Captor. You know, that's like worst case scenario, you know, right? So, which card do I want countered? It may just be Wild Growth Walker. May I just give them Wild Growth? Interesting. <laughs> Where's Galta? Just don't need it. We have we have dragons. Phoenixes and dragons at the top end. Instead of Galtas. Opponent's a little ahead with them having the Tempest Gen um, before our Steel Leaf. Judge Fudge, I've been having a great time watching you after I get off work. Keep up the high quality content. Thank you so much, Judge. Welcome back to the channel. That is our. Oh, that's our second subscriber of the day. I didn't update this before. And we are at 118 now. Alright, we want to draw basically any of our creatures. Anything besides Land War Elf. Or Wild Growth Walker. Not that one either. Uh, Kral Harpooner would certainly be good. Collision Colossus. Second Tempest Gen makes this a lot harder. So. Gotta hope they don't have a. I hope they don't have a counter spell. I mean, even if they don't, I guess. I guess we're just kind of dead, aren't we? Yeah, we're just dead. They just sack their. Oh, I was going to say they're going to sack the Siren Storm Tamer for that, but. Yeah, Harpooner can block one, but we're still taking seven. We're at six. Feels so bad taking out Spellbreaker here. Spellbreaker's got to be really good. Do I actually get rid of Wild Growth Walkers? Hmm, no. I guess I'm going to get rid of another Hellkite and go down to two Hellkites. 
yep, we were playing second. It's, it's, you know, that's the hard game for us to win. They had, we were going second and they had turn three Tempest Gen and turn four Tempest Gen. Or at least turn three Tempest Gen. That's, you know, them going first with Tempest Gen immediately is how they can win. If they don't have Tempest Gen immediately, it's gonna, it's really hard for them to win. That's like, that's certainly their most important card by a long ways. So they get to draw two, but then we'll just go ahead and collision this and take it out. So, so they won't won't have anything on the battlefield anymore. expecting this to get countered with them not doing anything else, but I think we can, we have, you know, good threats. We can just kind of play into that. Um, So, collision's a little risky with um, dive, a potential dive down, and if we Colossus, again, because of dive down, it doesn't actually... Um, wouldn't actually kill the Tempest Shin, if they have dive down. So... I'm not sure if I should be ditching that steel leaf I was get, potentially could have drawn there. Hmm. So I can kill the Tempest Gen right now. Or I can kill my own Phoenix and have the Phoenix come back. If I kill the Phoenix, I take six, and then I'm I'm the problem with killing the Phoenix is I take six and I'm dead to like, you know, kind of kind of everything or like well not everything but Trickster like Trickster kills me if I kill Phoenix then Trickster kills me. Um, I kind of feel like it may be better just to kill the Tempest Gen and let them have Phoenix and then what we attack then we attack them for three down to eleven and play Steel Leaf. Then they have a three turn clock with the Phoenix where we have a faster clock. Because then we can have eleven potentially the very next turn with Spellbreaker. So I think it's actually safer to kill the Tempest Gen. If our opponent just has a brick in hand, we have, you know, lethal here. We have 11 coming in. That's basically a brick. Um, yeah, let's make them, let's make them chump. 
because otherwise, if I don't make them chump, then a Curious Obsession could kill me. Because they have 5 power. Alright, 3 0, oh, it's Stompy. We stomping. Yeah, everybody wanted to kill the Phoenix so you could get it back. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. You know, I wanted to kill the Phoenix too, but I just felt like that was a little risky, killing the Phoenix, because um, if our opponent did have a... You know, we would, we were going down to, like, where the, the Tempest Gin kills us, you know, any, any future hit. So if our opponent had another Entrancing Melody or... Um, or a tapped thing, we would have been dead. All right, land drop, where are you at? Branch Walker will help find it. It'll explore for it. Hey, Metal Monkey, thanks for the bits. Thanks, Metal Monkey. Great stream, Todd. Keep up the, the great work. Thanks for the cheers. Cheers. Um, oh, no, we got the dreaded mirror match. Oh, it's a good card, but I don't have the four lands. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. I don't know if I should should even get rid of that. We have we have a couple three drops we can play in the meantime while we are looking for that land. Shivin fire. Dude. Attack. Well, we, speaking of lands, we were not getting that land anytime soon. So who's... What? So this is a teamer deck with a shiv and fire. What's going on over here? Oh, uh, is this like teamer reclamation? Oh, uh, this is reclamation. Well, I'm glad I didn't keep the phoenix now that I realize it's reclamation. Um... I think this is lethal, right? So that's 11, 15. Yeah, this looks like lethal to me. GG. But I probably wasn't expecting me to have seven haste damage there. But, you know, I did. So, Teamer Reclamation, bunch of Cinder Vines. Probably good. Cinder Vines in, Walkers out. Um, I probably want Lebrontodon also. Any good substitutes for four Steel Leaf and four Phoenix? Um, you can play, instead of Steel Leaf, you can play Growth Chamber Guardian. And then instead of Phoenix is a tough one. Um, I mean, you could do that instead of either one. You can play just Growth Chamber Guardian. Speaking of Phoenix, I'm not sure if I really need Phoenix in this matchup. Um, I'm just going to keep it. I should be playing Vivian's.
All right, Vivians and Brontodons. Vinemare, there you go. There you go, Vinemare. Um, Galta. Another one, if you get, get your Galtas from like the, from the Singleton event. I mean, Nullhide Ferox is another mythic, so Nullhide Ferox would be another card, but that's another mythic. He used to play Slezian Knights with Galtus. Nice. Let's just go 1 1 counter. Uh, being a 4 4 over time is going to do more damage to our opponent than making it a 3 3 right now. Oh no, you were 4 0 in Singleton and then went 4 2. Uh, what a tilt. I, I could collision that thing, but whatever. Really hoping they don't have another fight with fire. Really hoping we get to untap with the Hellkite. If they kill the Hellkite, it's going to be tough for us to win. Okay, that looks like we're untapping with Hellkite. Armed and legged. Getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Welcome. Perfect time to get that sub in. You get all the awesome new emotes. <laughs> Had to do it for the cat butt. There you go. That's a that's a great that's a great new emote. Yes, yeah, so I've worn contacts basically all the time for the last couple of years. I finally got glasses. Um, I, I had glasses, you know, a long time ago, but... Uh, they... My old glasses broke, and um, years, you know, probably about two years ago when my old glasses broke, and finally got around to getting some new ones. So keeping the collision or the Colossus available to pr so if they do have another fight with fire to try to kill the Hellkite, I can give it plus four plus two. All right, well I'm just gonna kill that thing. So that'll kill a land war elf though. But oh well. Glad I have Vivian's in here somewhere. Muzio! Reseven for the third month. Welcome back, Muzio. Sub number four on the day. I beat a mono red player in Singleton that went Lava Runner into Steamkin, turn 1 2 by casting 6 Palaka Worms with Mirror March. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Nice. Um, our, were our four Branch Walkers stacked? They might have been. I think this is. Yeah, that, that's lethal. Right? Because, yeah, that puts him down to 10. This puts him down to 8, and then attack for 8. And Stompy is stomping him. 4 0. Oh. This never looks like we have lethal, but then it's like, oh wait, we can actually kill our opponent because these cards do a ton of damage. Final boss time! Sin Christ for getting that emote out for the first time. And the 5 win dream is still alive. The dream's still alive. But we got to beat this final boss. Oh, dang. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hyde. We got to get to the final boss song. 
I'll go back to dig there for you. I'll go back after this. This is five straight final bosses in a row now. Yeah, we had final boss all four times yesterday. Yeah, I'm hoping to do a little better with Esper Angels. Didn't do as well last time. And we are uh, at four subscribers now, so one more subscriber, and it'll be pack time. We'll be cracking a pack open. We get to play first. We're lucky. And a, a good opener. Turn two, I'll be playing Wild Growth plus Land War. Oh, really? Incubus is from your hometown? That's awesome. Yeah, they're a great band. Ooh, uh, let's play this thing first. Good quality draw with that Rekindling Link Phoenix. The Black Mages version of the song. Is that on... Um, Spotify? Oh, Esper Midrange. Dun, 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 dun. Stop. Hey, welcome back, Techstar. Thanks for getting that sub in for the third month. Thank you. And we have uh, Scamden with the brand new sub as well. All right, that y'all know what that means. Fifth sub of the day. Already, that means we are going to be cracking a pack after this. Let's see. The... Deputy on the wild growth is a little disappointing, but we can get it back. If our opponent just took that, which I actually didn't expect my opponent to block there, but if they would have just taken that, then I was, you know, I was gonna be playing Phoenix. That was like my plan was just to get that attack in and play Phoenix. All right, so let's update this. So that's six subs of the day, and we're down to one sixteen. So they are at nine. Hey, Zerf is gifting out five subs. So we got a lot of new people to get to use the new emotes. All right, so Shako, uh, Shako Maka, Volklore, Jason Harry. Flitto and Fongi. Fongi, make sure. I hope y'all use the emotes. We got Santa Zerf. Thanks, Santa Zerf. Gets to 111, and that means it is going to be pack time again. Valric. I am not going to sit time. Thanks, much Valric. More malleable people think. Also getting on that action. Y'all are amazing. It's getting us some hype to be able to defeat this final boss. Alright, so let's go this and that attack them, that attack to fairy, and this attack them also. So we only have to send one thing over at Teferi, because if they jump in front of the thing attacking Teferi, they'll just die. Um, so they have to chump a Jade Light. Long time lurker? Well, 
glad you've been a long time lurker, Thalaric. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub, and yeah, I'm glad you've been here for a while, enjoying the stream. Hey, what's up, Boo? We got a bunch of e new emotes. We are currently fighting the final boss right now. Oh, let's go go back to our stream playlist. Let's go back to let's see work. See if I can find Dig. There we are. Yes. So what are we playing against? Esper midrange? I don't really have removal, per se, for like the 1-3 creatures. I can maybe play a couple Carnage Tyrants. Um, yeah, Wild Growth Walkers probably just aren't very good in this matchup. It does distract my opponent, though. Let's just keep it the same. Lyra Dawnbringer is a problematic card. But I got the collisions there. I don't know. Let's just, let's just kind of do our thing again. Now, Cinder Vines isn't going to really help. They don't have artifacts and enchantments. But Lyra Dawnbringer um, certainly a card worried about. They do have a couple other flyers, too. Maybe I should be playing the Harpooners. I mean, I, I probably should be playing Vivian and Harpooner. But we'll just kind of see what happens. We're up a game. Hmm. Well, I guess this is happening. As far as mulligans go, mulligans to five go. This is a good, solid curve. Stop. I'm playing your, yeah, yeah. I'm playing your your version, Ray Day. Yep, got some new glasses. So, this would be kind of good to know what our opponent's sideboard plan is uh, before we, like, whenever we sideboard for game three. They wrath in. Okay. So I'm thinking. Yeah, so I'm thinking let's go Vivian uh, plan and everything. We haven't really seen a need for Harpooner. Disinformation campaign? Interesting. Alright, so yeah, they are definitely going control deck. Let's bring these in, cut the walkers, and then trim a Hellkite or two with them having the removal. Um, maybe two? Hmm. Gotta keep the curve somewhat reasonable. <laughs> Soto, you got me last night? Um, I wish we had Null, Nullhide Feroxes. They're playing a bunch of Basilica Bell Haunts and, um, and Disinformation Campaigns. It's just kind of a bunch of threes. What a Harpooner. I'm worried about Thief of Sanity. 
And Lyra. Both of those. The I was holding on to the collision because of Lyra. The Jade Lights don't necessarily match up that well against Bell Haunt anyway. And we were um We weren't really winning that one. No, I don't I don't care, Soto. Yeah, I was playing I was playing some Esper taking turns yesterday. I streamed the deck yesterday. And everything. Yeah, made made that deck yesterday. Um I like it a lot. It's it's a lot of fun. And I'm playing it. Thanks, Coderic. All right, this is game three. Got to beat our final boss here. We do have an extra life, so even if we do end up losing this game, we do have the extra life. Um, they want to get the the pressure out immediately. Um. And I'm expecting our opponent to have... I'm kind of expecting our opponent to have Kaya's Wrath next, next turn. Alright, so that's not Kaya's Wrath. Um... So this is, yep, that's going to be lethal. Good game. Haste. Boom. Victory. The five win dream. Five zero oh also. Happened, man. E new emote luck. Getting that that new emote luck already. Yeah, fast set. That's what that's what our zombie deck can do. It can just kill people quickly. Um, <laughs> yeah, we we did play against two decks that were not very good. Our first two decks, um, we played against like a, a pretty weird white black deck, and then. Uh, then we played against rats also. And so, yeah, 2100 gold and 40 gems. Um, so, yeah, this deck felt, felt good. You know, we don't, I, I originally had lava coils in here, but decided to go with like collision instead. And then I didn't even put lava coils in the sideboard. So removal is a little bit of a, of a problem, but you don't really need removal when you're just when you're out ahead and you're attacking the cre the opponent. Colossus was awesome, you know, given our creatures plus four, plus two, and trample. This certainly helped us win some races and just helped us kill our opponent right away. Uh, we even killed a Niv Mizzet with this card, so that was pretty good. Um, no, no Domri. I uh, kind of feel like we don't really need Domri. And yeah, this deck was sweet. So yeah, if you wanna you wanna try stomping around, give this one a try. So yeah, no null hide either. Um, it's just kind of hard to fit in like more four drops, you know. You don't really want to like have a ton of four drops, and and I just like Phoenix and Hellkite a whole lot, and so like those are those are our top end. Like I think I think Phoenix and Hellkite are better than Domri or Null hide, and so therefore those are those are our top end. And there we go. Yeah, Gruel Stompy, awesome. So before uh, before I end the YouTube video, let's go ahead and crack open a couple packs. We got into uh, we're getting two packs, and so let's get an M nineteen and a and a Rivals. These are the, the um, sets that I have the least number of rares of. Pack time. All right, so Rivals, we're trying to get uh, Storm the Vault. 
M19. I don't know exactly what rare I'm trying to get to M19. I should probably figure that one out. It's not metamorphic alteration, though. Not that one. All right, come on, storm the vault. Crafty Cut Purse. That card's good against March of the Multitudes. If you play against a lot of March of the Multitudes decks, you can be like, hey, give me all those tokens. <laughs> it is the most niche card ever. I mean, I, I, f I feel like they could have just made this uh, not until end of turn. Um, like, it says uh, under an opponent's control this turn. They don't. I don't think they need to make this turn, and this would still be a niche card that wouldn't see very much play. But you know, they could have just made it so it's just always uh, going. I think. I don't know. Maybe that just kills the tokens deck too much. But there we go. All right. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.